Ever wondered how this diecast looked without any of that silly playoff garbage? Well, now's your chance. Here's Ryan Blaney's 2019 Richmond Water Heaters non-playoff Ford Mustang. Howdy, howdy, folks. It's Diecast Buffet here again, back with another NASCAR Diecast review. And today's car is going to be, well... It, this is a card that I actually customized. Um, you might notice something different about it. There's no playoff logo, no playoff splitter, no playoff spoiler, none of that jazz. Uh, I did some editing to this diecast that we're going to go over. Obviously, it's day glow, so I got to dr drop that brightness down a little bit. So, check this out, folks. This is a card that I was able to edit, right? Um, I took the uh the spoiler i took the splitter i was able to paint it right i removed like i literally removed the playoff uh little number decal there and i even did some touch-up work around the trim line of the car you can see right here how a lot of the trim line is actually uh the black paint actually goes all the way down to the bottom and if you remember uh back with i made that kyle larson die cast I took his uh vega strong car and i was able to make a secondary paint scheme out of that I used a lot of those same uh, techniques, but I tell you what, man, as a Ryan Blaney fan, it was so disappointing that they did not make this paint scheme uh, without the, the playoff stuff. And, you know, in 2020, honestly, I could put a 2020 cup logo here and I could even make this a 2020 die cast. So over here to the nose of this die cast, you got Richmond water heaters, you got a uh, pencil for the Mustang. You know, I, w I should probably take some silver paint and touch it up here. I probably should. Uh, but yeah, I mean, just look at the spoiler, man. I tell you, it makes every bit of difference being able to look at this car and not have that ugly shrek whatever monster energy whatever you want to call it lime green splitter i'm just saying um to not have that crap on the die cast is it's amazing there is a like i think that's a paint chip or something above the s there what the heck uh but yeah i mean just take a look at the die cast there guys i mean absolutely a huge difference i think uh so you got course forward you got mustang you got number 12 there um, I've thought about buying another one of these, right? And I've thought about this. Hear me out on this. So you take, uh, I could remove this Richmond logo, right? I can paint over it, whatever. I could do that. Imagine the Richmond Water Heaters logo not being there. I could put whatever logo I want. I could find any logo I want, you know, decals. I could put, like, Axe on the nose. I could put, like, the Axe logo, right? I could put Axe... And I could remove the one down here in the corner, and I could put Axe there as well. You know, it's a universal system, right? Now that I figured out how to remove um, these logos, uh, I mean, it changes the game. It really does. So over to the left side of the car, and I also made some work to the back end of this car as well. A little bit more on that. Actually, if you've seen the review on this car, the whole back end was destroyed, right? When I peeled off the masking tape for the spoiler. It destroyed the back end decal, and you could even ask Little Wrangler 3 about this. Lionel uses a very thin clear coat, okay? Very cheap clear coat. So it actually got peeled up with the masking tape. So uh, lesson learned. If you wanted to uh, make a make a masking uh, error or change something, you probably should put some, uh, some clear sealer or something there first to give it a little bit more protection. So you got Goodyear there. You got the Menards. I guess you could call it the paint stripe or the paintbrush mark. Um, I didn't swap the wheels out because obviously I want to keep the day glows. I thought about, you know, using maybe a different color wheel, you know, just to give it a little bit more character. Uh, I even seen a little Wrangler 3 uh, take a photo of this car with the black paint and uh, I thought it was really cool looking. But I just, I like the day glow because they actually matched it pretty well with this, you know. I got, so you got Knopf, you got Moen, you got Ryan Blaney, you got Ford, whatever that is, PPG, Mazak, uh, Wabash. Number 12, Menards, got Dex Imaging, uh, American Ethanol, Richmond Water Heaters. But I I'll be honest with you, man. Part of me really wants to buy another one of these and edit it. Like, I could take whatever logo I want. Even if he doesn't run this car, I could say, okay, I love Axe, you know, Axe products, right? Let's just put that on the car. Or, I could, you know, I could put whatever, you know, I could put literally any logo I want. I could take... One of these Mahindra logos, and I could put it on here if I want. I could put whatever logo, right? Um, 
and you could make an arsenal of, of Blaney diecast with every sponsor you want. And with them releasing the Jack Links car, link in the description for that. That's a really cool looking car. I mean, you could have an arsenal. You got the, what do you got? The Richmond water heaters now. You got uh, the Knopf car. You got the Lidman. So that's three right there. You got Knopf, Lidman, water heaters, Jack Links. Oh, I think we might be getting one more of these Menards Blaney cars this year. All right, so over here to the caboose of this die cast. You can see that back panel is not crisp in HD. That's because that's actual paper. Um, would I ever, I, uh, whenever I uh, put the masking tape around the spoiler to paint it, right? Uh, it literally, I, I kid you not, it peeled it off. Check this out right here. Look at that. You see that? That thing is destroyed, guys. That thing is freaking destroyed, okay? Um, so what I did is I went back and I got a panel and I put that over there and I clear coated it It's not the best. I would have used a really high quality die cast decal But unfortunately, I have to go and buy a, a, a sheet, you know for that or a set I'm not you know, I don't need uh, to buy one of those right now. So I'm like, you know what? I ain't worried about it Use what I got because if I use a high quality decal paper and make my own well, there's two problems to that. Um, not only does my printer can't print black, it only prints dark brown. Um, the edges when you do a uh, water slide decal, right? And you have to make it a, a white water slide, uh, water slide decal because obviously it's not a you know white background, so you can't make it clear. Um, it has edges around it when you cut it, and those white edges will leak out. So unless you take a, like a toothpick or a microscopic dental tool and poke paint all around it, you're gonna see through it, but you got your spoiler here. I love it, man. I I'm sorry, I really do. I freaking love this diecast. That's why I'm doing a review on it. You might be thinking, why are you doing another review on this car? I wanted to show y'all how this car can look without the stupid playoff stuff. So over here to the right side of this diecast, and I mean, honestly, the the quality for the actual decal wrap. This is actually a pretty good car to build this off of, but I mean. I just can't stress it enough, guys. You know, like the, the little details around the bottom here. I mean, I wanted to show y'all what you can do to one of these stupid playoff die casts. Like, if you don't like the playoff die cast like I do, if you love them, that's great. That's cool. You know, no judgment zone here, right? Um, except uh, unless you're a die cast. That's different. <laughs> oh Lord. Anyways, um, but yeah, you could just you could just see the small details, right? You just you know when Lino puts the decals on there and they don't cover the bottom, paint that, paint the spoiler, paint the, paint the splitter, remove the playoff crap. You could put your own Cup Series banner. You could put your own name banner. You could even paint the interior, detail it. I don't care. You could do literally whatever you want to these cars, bro. And that's what I love so much about diecast, man. It's literally a, a portrait ready to be painted. And then over here to the roof of the diecast, you got that beautiful Ryan Blaney 12 right there. Love how Pinsky puts it right there in the middle. Then you got the Maytag, a Kid, Libman, Jacklings. Oh, God, that Jacklings car is beautiful. Cartel, Tarket, Nipco, Atlas, Sylvania, Duracell, in moment. Alrighty, folks, that is it for today's NASCAR diecast review. Uh, let me know what y'all think about this car down below in the comment section. Did I successfully remove the playoff stuff off this car? Um, how does it look, honestly? Be honest with me, guys. Um, I worked hard on this. I tried not to destroy it because the problem is when you're doing this, is when you paint this, if you mess up, you can't go back because then you have to go buy a whole nother car and do all this other jazz with it and good luck trying to find it. It is a DMP. So if you don't have one in your store, uh, get ready to pay uh, the scalpers a pretty penny to get another one of these. So uh, yeah, these are going to dry up and uh, they're going to be uh, probably hard to find uh, in a few years. But uh, yeah, I'm just happy to not have a playoff one. Anyways, folks, thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I hope to do this more in the future. You know, if they re keep releasing these playoff diecasts um, like this, I hope to unplay off them. I've thought about doing it to the Austin Cendric car. Unplay off these die casts. Would you like to see more reviews on those? Um, I wish I could compare a side by side, but you know, obviously, I don't want to buy two of the same die cast. But, uh, anyways, folks, hope you're having a great one. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, once again, buy PM Easter Standard Time every day until August 2nd. Brand new NASCAR die cast reviews, both custom and gold series releases. Plenty of new stuff coming out this summer. Uh, every Gold Series release is going to be covered on the channel, so if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that notification bell as well. Hope you're having a great one. Diecast Buffet, signing off.